All right, y'all, good morning. I hope y'all are all having a fantastic day today. Uh, we got a little vlog today. Uh, it was day one of spring break. About to go get a lift. Um, I say lift, it's more plyometric stuff. Um, there's kind of movement and uh, stability. It's gonna be a lot of uh, med ball stuff and then core stuff and then uh, just some movements, kind of, I guess, yoga type stuff. Um, but yeah, we're about to go get, we're gonna go do that. And then after I'm gonna go come home, get breakfast, um, I have another actual lift at 11 o'clock, so I'm about to go, we'll go to that, and then after we go to the 11 o'clock lift, we're going to go hit the driving range after. Hopefully it's open. If it's not open, we'll still go putt and chip, but that's kind of what we got on the agenda for today, so let's go get after it. All right, y'all, we're just going to load the clubs up into the truck, and then we're going to go ahead to our workout. All right, Charles, so we just actually got back from the range. Um, I wasn't really able to record a whole lot there, but we, yeah, the workout was good this morning. Um, had some lot of, lot of upper body stuff. And then the range was good, um, hitting the ball straight and hard, so that's what we were trying to do. Uh, but now we're gonna go home, get some lunch, and then I have a hitting, uh, hitting session at five o'clock today. So better go home, get some food, and then uh, get some stuff done around the house, and then we'll head off for the hitting lesson. Okay, so I just got back to the house. Um, I ended up picking up some McDonald's, but I just smoked that. So um, I'm actually probably going to go back in the backyard and uh, get some more work in. I recently got some of those like little soft foam like plastic balls. Um, so I may just go back there and kind of swing it a little bit with some of my wedges. I didn't really get to swing my wedges a whole lot um, in my irons. Um, went to the range and just really focused on you know hitting my driving straight and I did a little bit of work with the three wood. Um, and then went over to the chipping and putting green and, you know, chipped and putted a little bit. So we're going to go back in the backyard and get some more swings in. All right, y'all, we are heading to the hitting lesson right now. We should be there in about 15, 20 minutes, but we're going to go in and get some good swings in and get some work in. be an hour, hour and a half session, something light. Um, I'll try to record a little bit in there. Um, but, yeah, let's get some work in. So that's gonna wrap it up for tonight um was able to get laundry done got all my uh my homework done got some work done that i needed to do so tonight was good today was a good day um got some good work in got to go to the range a little bit mess around with the golf club um so today was fun had some good lifts uh got to go you know swing a little bit um uh, but today we got a lot more stuff going on i'll be able to record a little bit more tomorrow um so we're gonna clock out for the night and i will see you guys in the morning all right y'all so we just woke up and we're getting out i'm um, about to go actually get some breakfast I'm um, probably going to go pick up some some little ham, egg, and cheese sandwiches and maybe some donut holes. i um, just going to come back and eat it. I was going to make food this morning, and then I woke up a little bit later than I expected. So we're just going to go out and get some food and come back and uh, start our day. Okay, I lied. So they're actually closed. I didn't know that, but they're closed. So I guess we're just better run through McDonald's and get some pancakes.
All right, Joss, we just got back to the house. Um, we just left the driving range, got some good swings in there, had a little bit of fun. So about to go inside and get some lunch, and then uh, we'll probably come out here and uh, get some hacks in, in the garage. Uh, since we, you know, we got to still stay in baseball. We're in baseball season, so about to get some hacks in, in the garage, and then um, I don't know what else we're doing later. I'm probably just going to – I may go back and uh, lift later tonight. I don't know yet. kind of depends on how I feel after hitting and stuff, but, yep, let's go get some food. All right, y'all, so I got to clean out the truck now. Uh, that's why you can see that jacket over there. Just kind of clean the stuff out. But we're about to vacuum the truck out, you know, clean all the windows, um, just kind of wash out the interior a little bit. So just another daily test that I got to kind of get done. Um, it hasn't been, been detailed in a while. So we're going to clean that truck out, and then we will take some hacks in the garage. We're hooked in. We are gonna get some work in, like I said earlier. Actually, I'm gonna turn this up. This says that this is good. Hold on. We're gonna turn this music up because it's pretty good. All right. It's like nine o'clock right now. Get some swings in. We have games on Friday. It is Wednesday. Um, so tomorrow is gonna be probably just some field work. Uh, probably go down and front toss BP maybe a little machine work on the field um, it's supposed to be nice tomorrow so we're gonna definitely try and get on the field uh, for at least some ground ball work for sure um, but yeah gonna get some hacks in tonight just trying to keep in the groove um, yesterday you you guys you guys will see um, in this video yesterday we had a, a hitting session and the big thing that I worked on there was um, you know I, I stopwatched all of my from the point of when I started my load to contact um, really just trying to make sure that like I'm getting to the right spot but at the same time that I'm not rushing myself for sure that I get to a spot but at the same time that I can get to a spot if I'm rushed or if I'm smooth. But if I'm smooth and it's the same cadence every time, like it, it's just gonna help me you know, be a better hitter, obviously. So that was like the main focus yesterday. Um, so like I said, he uh, stopwatched all of my swings from the point of when I started my load to contact. Um, and ideally, we were between, you know, one second and one one, one two, from just being smooth and going and not rushing myself um, and allowing myself time to actually, you know, hit the ball. So that was kind of the main focus yesterday. It wasn't really mechanical. It was just with just really trying to dial in on timing. I did. I felt pretty solid yesterday. So. Tomorrow is just going to be probably some field work. Um, just really trying to keep in rhythm of the of the season. Um, not going to be a whole lot, but. Yeah, no, the swing the swing definitely feels good. Um, just trying to make sure everything is flowing like it should, working in the right direction kind of the same as always like it's never really super super like mechanically focused when I'm in here now when I go to my hitting sessions or when I'm down at the indoor like that's really when I lock in and hone in on my mechanics and really what I'm working on uh, but most of the time when I'm in the garage it's before game days or before a weekend series um, just really trying to just make sure everything just feels good yeah, I think the biggest thing, like, the biggest thing that gets me out as a hitter has definitely been timing. Being tardy on a fastball um, has been my downfall ever since I started playing. You know, I might get fooled. Like, it happens, you know. If I'm sitting there in a 2-0 fastball, or I'm sitting there for waiting for a 2-0 fastball, and he throws me a 2-0 slider, like, 
Okay, kudos to you, man. Like, if you're going to sit there and do that, like, hey, pitcher's pitch. I'll live to fight another day. Strike regardless. Doesn't really matter. You know? I've just been – I've had to learn to be comfortable. Like, sometimes you're going to get fooled in the box, especially if you're just hunting a fastball. And like I said, a guy throws you a 2-0 slider. Like, yeah, okay, you might swing through it. So what? You're still, you're still sitting on a fastball, you know what I mean? Like – that's the mindset that I've had to have is, like, I'm not going to miss a fastball. And so if he throws me a slider, like, yeah, I might get fooled, but it's okay. Because when he throws me a fastball, I'm not going to miss it. You know what I mean? Especially in high school baseball, it's like you're not going to see a lot of guys starting you off with curveballs or throwing you to outsiders. Like, it just doesn't really happen um, unless we, you know, once we get into state, and they'll start pitching guys backwards. But... As of, you know, right now, like, you're just not going to see it. And it's not necessarily a bad thing. Like, like I said, like, sometimes you're going to get fooled, but it's how well can you stick to your approach. Like, if I sit there and I chase a 2-0 slider, am I going to sit there and go, oh, crap, like, I'm not going to hunt a fastball anymore because I just chased the pitch. And then guess what? The next ball he throws you a fastball and you're late. And then you're going to end up striking out because he paints one on the black and the umpire rings you up. So it's like, I don't know, little things like that, man, is what loses ABs in my opinion. So I just kind of had to force myself, like, even if I get fooled, I'm not missing a fastball, you know. And I think it's definitely helped me out a lot. Another thing that I've been kind of, like, mentally, that I've talked about, like, mental approach, is just having, like, controlled violence, like, bottled violence. Um, you know, I see a lot of guys get up there and they're, you know, whoops, almost knocked the mic off, hold on, let me reset. A lot of guys get up there and they're, you know, sitting here and they take a freaking hack and it's like, alright, like, cool, yeah, you took a hack, like, hey, oh well, take a hack, man. But it's like, too, it's like, you had no chance of hitting that ball. You were freaking, you know, looking at the, looking at the stars. So that's the thing I've kind of like had to teach myself is like, oh, oh, like, yeah, I'm looking to do damage, but it's controlled violence. Like, I'm not going to sit up here and fly open and get myself out because I just missed the fastball. Just because I'm trying to hit it 500 feet, like, I'm going to stay within myself and hit a double. You know what I mean? That's another thing I've just kind of had to hone in on is taking violent hacks, but staying within myself, which, I mean, there's definitely a fine line. And you know, like, I'll sit there in hitting sessions and just try and wear out the hit tracks and get my numbers up. It's like, okay, I hit a ball 95, but I'm, you know, one for 12. Like, it, that just doesn't really do me any good because I'm sitting there just trying to take, trying to take hacks that aren't controlled, whether I can sit there and go seven for 12 and have my average VLO be 90. Like, I'd take that all day. So, it's just little, little things like that, in my opinion, are kind of what is going to help me, you know, as I go throughout this season. But I don't know. I think I think that's one thing a lot of people can can work on. It's just controlled violence. I mean, you watch big leaguers. You know, I think Julio Rodriguez is a prime example of this. I mean, he's sitting there competing in the home run derby. You watch him swing in game. It's like he's swinging 60%. Like, it's like he's just taking little BP hacks, but he'll sit there and hit a ball, you know, 114 miles an hour in the left center gap, and you watch him swing, and it's like, it's just, it's just effortless, you know? Effortless power, I think, is one thing that gets me out is when I just try to do too much. Um, so just, like, simplifying everything in a game. <sighs> I want to thank you guys um, to all you guys that are still watching at the end of this video. Um, I just wanted to thank you guys uh, 
We're almost to a thousand subscribers, which, as we all know in the grand scheme of things, is not that crazy. But, you know, I look back to a little over a year ago now when I first started, you know, posting videos, you know, setting a goal to, to hit a thousand. Um, you know, even, even if it's small things, you know, it feels good to, to accomplish something, especially something you work hard for. I really do appreciate every single one of you guys. You know, it may not seem, you know, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not preaching to a big audience. I'm not, I'm not recording for a big audience, but at the same time, you know, you guys are, you know, the reason I do this. So I just want to say thank you. Um, it may not mean a lot because I'm speaking it through a camera, but I did just want to say, you know, Wanted to thank you guys and, you know, making sure y'all y'all stay tuned because we do have some big things coming. Um, some big some big games coming up. We'll start conference play here in the next couple weeks. So a lot of high energy games, some really big important games. So, but yeah, I just wanted to come on here and say thank you. Um, like I said, it may not mean a lot. I'm not speaking to a big audience, but I do really, really, truly appreciate every single one of you guys. So just wanted to say thank you. All right, so yeah, we're done. We're done in for the night, um, but we're probably gonna go inside. Probably get some more food. Y'all saw what we munched on for dinner. It was pretty good. Probably get some more food, wind down for the night, get some more work done around the house. Kind of the same thing we did yesterday, but yeah, today was good. And uh, little hitting session was good. Late night, listening to just some some bops on the radio. So I'll get back with y'all when I get inside. All right, y'all, once again, uh, I forgot to record an outro, so it's actually the next day, but just wanted to say thank you guys. Um, I do appreciate all y'all's support. It really does mean a lot to me. Um, and if you're still sticking around watching the end of this video, thank you guys. Um, y'all are the real ones. But uh, yeah, I just want to come on here and say thank you. Make sure y'all are staying tuned. Uh, we're going to have a lot of stuff coming out. Uh, we got a lot of big games, a lot of big events coming up, so make sure y'all stay tuned for that. That'll be the end of the video. Appreciate y'all sticking around, and we'll uh, see y'all in the next one.